Happy October 21st, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. It's Mythic Monday, but nothing this past week struck me as particularly relevant to Ivy's personal emotional quest, and that's okay, so I think we'll skip that this week. When last we played, Ivy and Party defeated Thornheart. Uh, sort of. She charged and missed us and headbutted a tree, and that ended things as it so often does, and that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. The Guardian's ferocious demeanor subsides, replaced by an unsettling calmness. Her voice resonates through the clearing. You have proven your worth, little critter. I shall grant you what you seek. Thornheart steps backward and the seed of life materializes above her antlers. The guardian kneels to present the seed to you. We'll do two things in order. Take a rest and then take the seed of life. Uh, take a rest. Restore your health to full and all of our um, party members. So this is going to be a bookkeeping day, I think. So health goes back to 27. And we'll visit our party here. Vinny is back in the game. Brindle's fully healed. Anybody else? Uh, Kit. Kit is fully healed. And, wow, everybody took some damage. Lily, the Baron, my goodness. Okay. Uh, regain all expended uses of abilities. We didn't have anything we have to regain there. Uh, spell points. Poisoned and cursed were, none, were neither of those. Change your equipment if you desire. We don't have any extra equipment. Change your party members. I think we like who we have. And uh, we don't have any negative modifiers to remove. So, uh, two, take the seed of life. The guardian stands up and gallops away as you grasp the seed within your paws. <laughs> uh, or uh, wings, I guess. Um, if your virtue is more than three, well, that's Ivy. Ivy's got a, a virtue of 11. <laughs> While holding the seed, you experience a blissful moment of pure hope and boundless potential. You know what? We can do, let's do mythic for this moment. Um, so what did it say? Pure hope, pure hope and boundless potential. I think that's an opportunity. Let's make some space here for for Mythic. Slide you in. Okay. Let's see. Um, ask the fake question, does my character grow from the epiphany? Uh, this just touches on the character's issue this moment. It's not a direct mirror, so it's likely that she will um, grow from this. And so we're going to use this row here. We'll roll our 10-sided die. There's our 10s. 51. So that's a yes. Ivy does grow from this moment. I think what that means... Let's see. Just double check. Oops. Here we go. That means we get a plus one to our fulfillment value. So Ivy goes up to six here. Put the calendar back. There we go. Ivy goes up to six on her fulfillment. She's halfway there. Six of twelve. I think, so now we have to figure out what this means. I think that uh, for the first time in a long time, or maybe ever, since the, uh, since the tragedy anyway, Ivy has a moment where, or a, a time, maybe longer than a moment, maybe an evening here where uh, she doesn't think about it, where that psychological weight of that tragedy is lifted, and uh, and she sleeps easy. So that, my friends, is October 21st. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.